Hey there, gold makers of Azeroth. It's Ruffles with Want to Buy Gold, and you may be wondering why I'm in Feralus staring at a bunch of Grim Totem Marauders. Well, according to YouTuber Silent Thunder US, it's to make 17,000 gold per hour. I spend a bunch of time reading blogs and looking at guides online, and this is one of the more unique ones, so I had to test it out for myself. What you do is find the two big packs of these guys in Fairless, just north of New Thalinar. I believe they're the guys guarding the entrance of Thousand Needles. And it's a pretty easy run. They're level 39 and 40 mobs, arranged in two nice, neat little circles connected by a bridge. Silent Thunder did a one-hour test run of this place, but like I mentioned in my video of Blackrock Caverns, low drop rate items need longer tests to provide more accurate results, so I spent two and a half hours out there. I start my loops with the guys closest to the bridge and work around clockwise from there, but really I'm sure that whatever trial and error killing method works best for your class's AoE abilities will work fine. As a melee guardian druid, I just skull bash and wild charge my way around the circle. My biggest tip for farming this spot, as you can see, is that on my first lap, I don't loot corpses, and on my second lap, after I kill everything that's respawned, I loot everything. However, if you try for three laps, bodies that you killed on your first lap seem to despawn, so either I wasn't fast enough, or there's a body count limit, if someone can confirm that in the comments, that would be great. They only have 3,000 health, so you could farm them on any level, but uh, you probably need to be 85 to be one-shotting them consistently with AoEs. Now, they always respawn in the same spots, but the only tricks they pull is that if they team up and kill the friendly NPCs that hold them in place, then they'll run off. If you're ranged, this probably won't be a problem for you, but as a melee, this is a little bit of a hassle since you need to kill them all to force respawns on the other side. Now, these mobs are part of the quest, the Grim Totem are coming, which require people to kill seven of them, so there have to be at least that many of them up at all times. If the minimum number are up and you kill one, another will insta-spawn on the other side somewhere. And since this is such a small area, it makes it a fantastic farming spot. Well, I think that was five minutes of my two and a half hours. Let's see how we compared. The first thing I noticed was that we got an absolutely insane amount of silk cloth, like B-A-N-A-N-A-S. 2,000 cloth at a median price of 1 gold, 50 silver each is 3,000 gold. That's 1,200 gold per hour just from stupid silk cloth. Now let's break down loot. As usual, I'll use the Undermine Journal GE Median for my transmog prices as it's most reliable. I'm setting my threshold for worthwhile mogs at 150 gold and have already DE'd 20 greens that didn't make the cut. My biggest item was the Saltstone Girdle, a tier 2 transmog piece for 1000 gold. I got two Steadfast Gloves for 593 gold each. A Stone Cloth Robe for 436 gold, which is ugly. Trickster's Vest for 432 gold, Sparkle Shell Sabatons for 380, Trickster's Boots for 377, Trickster's Hand Wraps for 356, which are very pretty blue, Sparkle Shell Gauntlets for 353, and a Pattern, which only sell, sells for 34 gold, but uh, I like to keep all patterns just because they do sell pretty quickly. Um, a bone, bone link belt, which is nice pretty white for 292, stone cloth vest for 254, which is also ugly. I have my least favorite transmog set now, stone cloth, wolf riders, warden's gloves, uh, ravager's cord, and a bunch of other stuff that I forgot to throw away apparently. Then we've got the Ghost Walker Crown for 272 gold. And coming up, Salt Stone Arm Splints for 350 gold. I know these are bracers, but since this is part of a high tier transmog set, they will sell. Twilight Robe for 217 gold. And we've got three patterns here. Now, um, the person who did the original video, it's valued each of his boxes at a thousand gold. What do we have here? We've got something for 20 gold, 
something for 12 gold. Not looking promising. We've got a Knight's Crest for 370 gold. All right, so in total, we made roughly 7,000 from Transmog and 3,000 from Cloth in our two and a half hours of farming, bringing our total to a very respectable 4,000 gold per hour. My final word on this topic, this spot is fantastic, and I really do highly recommend it. It's one of the best silk farming spots I've seen and a really good Mog location, but don't go there expecting 17,000 gold an hour. That's all guys, please subscribe if you liked the video, check out my blog for more tips, and I'll leave you with some Heroic Siege Crafter. Remember to search, craft, post, every day.